In this video, we are going to learn how to handle data vault administration and the commands that are used for uh, managing the tables in the data vault administrative tool. Today's agenda will be to log into the data vault administration using a Linux client, view the archive reports, the that is the list of uh, database folders that will be available in the data vault, then viewing the tables and viewing the uh, table related reports in the data vault. So when you are talking about the archive reports and the table reports, it talks about how much of archive data is there in the table, how much of updatable data is there in the table, uh, what is the compression ratio, and what are the uh, <coughs> how, what is the number of tables that are there in total. Next, we'll be seeing about the metadata administration, where we will identify the SET files related to a particular table, and we will view the table-related metadata, such as the columns in that particular table, the uh, domains that have been created for that specific columns, and the table limits for that specific columns, and also the file limits of that particular table. Now, now that I am in a Linux environment, uh, I have logged into the uh, data vault home folder. I have set the environment variables. Now I'll use SSA admin, the username and the password to log into the SSA admin to connect to the SSA admin. Once I have connected to the SSA admin, in order to list the database folders that are there in the uh, particular data vault, I, the command that I use is DBS. DBS will list the databases that are available as a part of in this data vault. Uh, I can set a specific database using the set db command and use tables in order to view the list of tables associated with that particular database folder. Now if I want to view the list of databases and reports related with that databases. I will get into the ADM database folder which is the default database folder and type archive report. The archive report will show the list of databases along with the, t the number of tables in the collective, collective amount of tables in the list of databases. It will also show how many files that are there associated the SET files that are associated with these tables, the total size of archive and the update data. So when you are talking about archive data, it is the data that has been archived from the source and update is the meta data or the meta field uh, data that will be there in the SET files. It also shows the ratio between the archive and the update data. Then uh, the flat file size that each of these particular uh, archive data is going to have and the update data is going to have and also its ratio along with the final value, the compression ratio, which is the uh, amount, the uh, total amount of data in the source uh, and the total amount of data in the target. So it's the total amount of data in the target divided by the total amount of data in the source into 100, which gives the compression ratio. So this report is for the entire list of databases and database folders that are there in the data world. If we want to do the same thing for a specific database uh, in the data world, then we'll set that specific database, then use table report in order to view the same thing exclusively for this particular database folder. Now that we have seen the data vault administration, we'll see the metadata administration where we'll list the uh, information related to a particular table. We'll have the table ID as the argument to all of these uh, commands. So first, we will see a particular table and the columns associated with that particular table. So for that, we'll be using columns followed by the table ID which will list the set of columns along with their type and the precision value. The next thing what we will be doing is the domains that are associated with this particular table is 
so when I give domains followed by the file ID I'll get the list of domains for that domains and the domain ID that have been created for each of the column next will be the files the SET files associated with that particular table so we have the uh, table ID and the corresponding SET files that have been created for e each of these uh, uh, table so the next thing will be the uh, file limits which will give the information about the uh, metadata of this particular table and their data type in order to get the columns of this particular table we need to give table limits which will give the uh, uh, table uh, columns along with the meta fields uh, and their minimum and the maximum value along with the data type So in this video, we learned about uh, the data vault administration commands and also the metadata administration commands, how to go about uh, viewing the information about table and also viewing information related with the data vault database folders. Uh, we saw information such as the archive reports, the table reports that are there for the data vault. Then we saw information about specific databases and information about specific tables, the columns and the data types. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please give us your feedback at the below link uh, which will be really helpful to us. 